Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about a couple of different ways of using auto sums. As you see, I have some data here from a bunch of vehicles that have been driving a number of miles each day. And to do the sums of these, I can, of course, do the plus, and then do plus, plus, plus on all these, but that's a rather boring and slow way of doing it. Instead, I can type in the sum, and then select the range that I want to summarize, like that. Or I can press this button here, Auto Sum, which gives me a suggested range, and it's the same thing, the sum of C4 to H4, that works. Or I can finally select the whole area which I want to have summarized and the area where I want the sums to be placed and I can press auto sum on all that and you see it automatically inserts sums all over the place here. Finally, I can put the proper sort on this so that we know that it's miles. So if I do a number format here and go into custom, I can type in how I want this to be formatted and then the miles. The hash marks here means that it should only be displayed if it has a value. The zero means that the number should always be displayed. So now you see everything is formatted as miles and um, it all works. Thank you for watching this demonstration.